Glamorgan fight back after another brown century for the home side. A century from Phil Salt helped Sussex take control at Hove on day one. The host closed on 208 for five, already 22 runs ahead of Glamorgan's disappointing first innings total of 186, with Nick Selman carrying his bat for 76. With Salt falling just before the close on the first day, David Visa was the new man alongside Ben Brown, but it was the skipper who set the pace as Sussex set out to build a big lead. He raced towards another half century in his current purple patch of form, and well before lunch he took the total past 300 for another batting point. By then, Brown was into the 80s and the century partnership wasn't far behind. When Visa was finally dismissed, bowled by van der Guchten, they'd added 107 and his share was 35. Brown's century followed soon after his second in as many games and his 17th in first-class cricket. This one included 14 boundaries and he was still there at lunch. Sussex 348 for six, just one wicket lost in the session for 140 runs and their lead was already 162. Glamorgan had to bowl better after lunch, but Chris Jordan was soon matching his skipper as the pair traded boundaries. They chaired a stand of more than 300 at Northampton last week, but they added just 55 this time before Jordan edged Labo Shane behind for 35. Brown continued undaunted, with Newman Briggs more than happy to back him up in similar fashion, and another useful stand developed, with another batting point added, before Brown finally departed, caught by Root off De Langer for a superb 130. After Brown was dismissed, the end of the innings came quickly. Briggs was caught by Carlson off De Langer for 24. And in the bowler's next over, Mia Hamza was bowled for one. The Sussex total 420, a very healthy lead of 234, with centuries for Salt and Brown. Glamorgan were up against it, and their situation soon worsened when they batted again. With no change to the deficit, Hemphrey was plumb LBW to Hamza in the first over to complete a pair for the match. Selman and Labo Shane made it through to T, with Glamorgan 15 for one and still deep in trouble. Their continued survival seemed to be the Welsh side's only hope, and with Selman playing cautiously and Labo Shane playing some shots, they did reach a 50 partnership which at least put a dent in Glamorgan's huge arrears. And the longer Labo Shane batted, the more the prospect of an innings defeat faded. The Australian dealt almost exclusively in boundaries, and hit three in one Hamza over to bring up his half century. The stand with Selman moved past 100, and it continued to grow. At stumps, the pair had added 137 for the second wicket and reduced Glamorgan's deficit to 97 with nine wickets left. Labuschain a superb 77 not out and Selman 45. Sussex still very much on top, but they'll want to break this stand quickly on day three.